Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a very special LEGO video today. We are going to be unboxing and doing the weight guide as well as a new way to do it with the codes if it works. So we're going to try all that in this video. Uh, today we're looking at the LEGO minifigure series 71046. This is series 26, which is the space themed one. And huge thank you to LEGO uh, for listening to the feedback from the last series that I, I struggled with the boxes only having one set of them with the sleeve because having two allows me to actually confirm with you guys, hey, that weight actually lines up with this and different things like that and the codes and if it works and all that. So I'm very excited to have these two here and doing all that. So there are chapters and time codes if you want to hop around. So we are going to open one of the sleeves regularly and then we're going to use the other one to check things out. So let's go ahead. Let's open up a sleeve. So if this is your first time seeing one of these sleeves, I believe this is a thing that they're trying out at least in Europe right now. And if you get one sealed or at least right off the shelves uh, that hasn't been touched, you should get all 12. And uh, it works sort of like a vending machine, I guess you could call it. It just You just pull on the bottom one there and then it will drop down. And it's really cool. I guess you could load it up here on the top too. But uh, yeah, I really love the idea of these and this concept that they've introduced. And it's a good way for these cardboard boxes you know to combat people being upset that you can no longer feel for these i think this is a good idea that they need to really do everywhere all right so box number one here we have uh, the alien tourist it's really cool these uh plates are all sparkly like stars so it's really cool that they decided to have a specialized plate for the series and let's go ahead and open up the checklist there's no uh tape holding this thing together so that's kind of nice that you can just unfold this and here it is and you can see how to assemble some of the characters and then over here on the back we've got the checklist i really like uh the beetlezoid like ripping out of the paper number two This is the imposter. Box three. This is the nurse android. Four. The Mtron power lifter. This is Orion. Here is the robot butler. This is the ice planet explorer. Here is the uh, alien beetlezoid. This is the Retro Space Heroine. This This one is the Blacktron Mutant. Two left here. This is the Flying Saucer costume. And last, but certainly not least, should be the one over here on the other side of the box, the Space Walking Astronaut. And it is. So there you go. All 12. All right, so here they all are built. And let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next part of the video. All right, so now we're going to move on and talk about the barcodes. This is a very complicated thing. Now, they first, of course, appeared on the Marvel minifigure series, and uh, there's this app called Brick Search, and they actually came to me, approached me, Brick Fanatics is behind them, uh, I don't know if you've heard of them, but they're a blog, and they approached me about actually showing off the app with Series 25. Now, at that point, I had already done my video, but they, I said I'd circle back around when Series 26 comes out with the Space Series. So here we are now, and I've tried to scan these. I have. And unfortunately, it's not in their system yet. 
I think that what happens is they first need to have examples of people opening boxes like you're about to see here. And then once it works and it, it it's added into their system of, oh, those numbers, those range of numbers belongs to the alien tourist or different things like that. So unfortunately, I can't show you it in this video. Try it. I mean, the app's free. It's not costing you anything. Might as well download it, try it, go to a store and see if scanning it will actually help you uh, see and figure out who's inside because it's a lot simpler than what I'm about to show you with weighing it. So some people last time got mad at me with how I handled things. And now that I've got two boxes, I'm gonna do it my way and hopefully uh, they don't mind my idea this time. So anyways, what I've done this time around is I have of course got the scale that we've been using since series two for Marvel. And when I went and opened up the different packages here, so this is the first character, I went and wrote on the inside Astro. So this is the astronaut. And then you can see inside all the spare parts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it right back on top of the scale here and put the minifigure on top. And you can now see the weight is 20.78. This is, I believe, the heaviest figure in the series. And you know what I'm gonna do now? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna remove all 12 of the uh, different minifigure boxes so that I can go ahead, speed things up here. So I'm gonna go through the 12 there from the new sleeve and match up the weight to this. All right, so here you go. 20.8, this is the closest one. Let's go ahead, let's open this up. Look what's inside, the astronaut. And here's that code. So you can see here and try and match up, I believe it's the number there on the side of these ranges. And we're actually gonna go in order of the checklist here. So we're gonna continue here with the imposter. So take that here, put them on top. We've got 16.39. So what I've started to do, a lot of the weights are actually quite similar. Uh, I've written here on the back, the weights. Um, so that's gonna help me just save time off screen. But the issue that I'm currently facing is there's a couple that are close. So we've got 17.92, that's a little over. We've got 16.14, that's under. And then 16.29, this is the closest one here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the box uh, that you can see here, uh, the number, and we're gonna compare it here and see if the ranges are similar. And it looks like it's one off. So I'm going to assume here uh, that this is indeed using the code system and the weight system, which is something I said back in the Marvel one, you sort of need to do both of. And would you look at that? We've got the imposter inside. Next up here, we've got the alien tourist. And again, going off of my numbers here, we're gonna go with this and let's verify with the code here on the bottom. See, I I'm not too sure if that is the same number range there, but going off of the weight, I'm going to assume this is indeed the alien tourist. There you go. See, so you gotta do a combo here, in my opinion. This should belong to the retro space heroine, 17.84. So here we go, 17.8, okay, they the exact same. I, I wrote 84 on the back, but let's go ahead, let's compare the number here and see if that lines up. It, it does line up, so double checking. We've got space heroine. All right, next up we've got the Mtron 19.35. All right, let's weigh this here. Verifying, it, it sort of shifts sometimes and changes the number, but that's pretty close. Let's confirm with uh, comparing the barcodes here. They look like they are, again, one off of the same range, so this should be the Mtron space loader inside. Next up here, we'll do the nurse at 617. So we've got uh, this next box at 17. And comparing the numbers here, looks like good, same range here. And what's inside? We have the nurse. All right, here we have the flying saucer costume guy at 17.3. So I just opened this and I realized that I wasn't recording. Uh, <laughs> but you can see here that uh, this is uh, the numbers on the side. They're off by one and the weight was the exact same. So anyways, got two. All right, here we go. The ice planet is 19.38.
All right, 19.3, and if we take the two here and compare the numbers, it, yep, two zero zero two four and then two five. So let's go ahead and let's uh, open this on up. There we go. All right, so what you need to do is you need to make sure that nothing's touching anywhere else, otherwise it'll remove the weight. Um, so here we go. 17.36 so here's the closest one okay it came out exactly the same it's very finicky i guess but let's compare the numbers yep that looks like it's going to be in the same range let's open this up to the butler all right so next is the beetlezoid at 17.65 let's compare the two Let's see, okay, sort of the same number range, but uh, we're running low here on boxes and this is the closest weight, so there we go. Next we have Orion, that's 17.34. This is the closest 17 that I've got. Uh, let's confirm with our number range here. That's pretty darn close. So we're gonna go with it. There we go, Orion. Which means that very last, if this was done correctly, uh, let's see, 16.87. It's pretty close to what I've got written on the back here, 16.92. All right, even lower, perfect. I wonder if it has something to do with it's trying to match the last number that I just weighed, but I'm not sure. There we go, the Black Tron 2. And as everyone, that is all 24 of the characters that LEGO sent me here from the Series 26 Space Series. And uh, I'm so excited to do the review for this. And I'm sorry that it maybe didn't go as planned as I originally started out with the video. I hope that the app would have worked, but I think doing this video is gonna help them know, hey, these range of numbers is for these characters. So yeah, I'm gonna send this along to them and uh, hopefully that'll help you guys. But I had a lot of fun. I always have fun weighing these. This is the third time doing it. And it was successful again. So just to show you, it's very easy just getting a small little scale like this. But uh, anyways, again, stay tuned for the review. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you all have a great day. We'll see you all in the next one.